Saturday Floss Tube at Sleeve From Creatively on the 1st of October 2023, Sunday, with Floss Tube number 195. Welcome, welcome back to my mostly weekly YouTube channel about counter cross stitch and other random stuff, like my dishwasher's going in the background. Sorry, it's just how it is. <laughs> I have a compact house. I'm never far away from an appliance. <laughs> it didn't kind of come out right. Anyway, what's been going on? I don't even know. Lovely day today after mostly shitty weather week. Uh, so that's great. Um, I really need to mind my lawns. I'm always talking about freaking lawns, but I just paid thousands of dollars for this lawn. Um, but it's still too wet out the back because it doesn't get any sunlight in winter. And I don't want to compress it and make it squishy and gross. So I probably won't mow them today, but maybe tomorrow. Um, I, I don't even know what the weather looks like. It is what it is. I'm not going to stress about it. It's just another busy week at work. Um, I continue to feel better, so yay. Um, a couple of, still a couple of the occasional little twinge, but more just a bit achy, almost like, well, four weeks of having muscle spasms probably leaves you with a bit of fatigue in the old spine, I guess, but feeling a lot better. Work sucks. <laughs> I didn't win auto, so I'm still employed this week anyway. Um, what's going on with the old family? My tiny little baby giant nephew, my sister's eldest child, turned 30 yesterday, which just I can't I go I don't get that. I was there when they were born and they were a funny little alien child. <laughs> All babies look like aliens, I think. And um, and it's been 30 years and that's just bizarre. So, and I think my sister said at the moment, no one in the house is under 21 because my niece's fiance, uh, she turned 21 a week or two ago and Bree's coming up, my niece is coming up 22 um, next Sunday, uh, which just freaks me out. <laughs> anyway, um, they're doing good over there and um, talked to Dad a little bit this week. He's okay. He's on some uh, new drugs for pain because um, he's sort of got some really severe nerve pain. I know what that's like, but um, just getting worse with his ever deteriorating back spinal issues. Uh, so it's a couple of nerve pain drugs, I guess, that he's on. One of them actually helps with it, has a benefit of helping with angina, so that might mean he can take less of his nitrolingual or whatever the hell that pink spray is, or he calls it, what does he call it? Liquid lightning or something? He calls it his lightning spray. I don't remember what he calls it, but um, that's an added bonus, I guess, <laughs> having to take two new drugs, but they do make him a little bit dopey and it might mean he can't drive or at least not drive much further than down the road to the supermarket kind of thing. So you've got a trip into Fakatani, which now with their reduced speed limit between Awakiri, or it might even be from between Tateko and Fakatani, so mm, about 20 kilometres, has been reduced to 80 or 60 from 100 so that trip takes longer and it's probably a bit long for him at the moment but he's only just started them but um we update i haven't talked about my stepmom for a while those of you who've been around for a little while my my stepmom is a very advanced alzheimer's she's been in a hospital care for over a year now i think or around a year a yearish um in a, she's in a hospital ward in a dementia unit in a, you know, old, oh, I almost said old folks home, but, but what do you call them? Yeah, age, yeah, aged care. I don't really know what they're called, right? We just call it now, old folks home. But um, she's been pretty much bedridden for well over a year and um, very like ever declining. Um, they've, they've increased a whole lot of her pain meds. The next step will be to put her on morphine and that kind of, um, that's 
product, like a morphine drip, morphine pump, whatever, and that sort of really definitely signals the end, I guess, um, which is sort of what they said this time last year. But my stepmother is a little bit, she got it quite young, relatively young, diagnosed in like very early 60s, and also it was is a very strong and healthy body. She has a very strong and healthy body. She wasn't on any medications for anything. And a lot and a lot of people when they get diagnosed, the majority of people who get diagnosed with Alzheimer's or other similar dementias are like in their seventies or eighties and they may already have a bunch of health conditions. So um but she still isn't on anything for like her heart or whatever and she's 77 I guess so we're coming up 77 so anyway it's just you know it's a shit situation just getting anyway it's been a long time <laughs> been a long time coming I guess um yesterday we had our I guess four times a year quarterly-ish um Wellington stitchy gathering in Johnsonville and that was kind of fun. A uh, few people than we've had this year, which was, you know, just, it was a crappy day. It was really cold, very cold, very windy, rainy, and it's also school holidays. Uh, and the last day of the month where a lot of other clubs and things have things. Um, and, but we had a lovely little gathering. I did Sweet FA. Um, you don't go to these things to search, do you? To go, you gotta meet people and catch up and, um, where was I going? Oh, and while we were yakking away about random stuff and um, a couple of the my fellow Stitches were talking about a show that they're going to and considering dressing up for and it reminded me that I'm going to a show soon and I couldn't remember when with a friend and I had thought I should dress up. It's Tammy Nielsen. She's a Canadian born but New Zealand based uh, sort of country rockabilly singer and she's quite fun. I've I've never seen her live or watched her a bit on YouTube and I know of a couple of friends who really like her. And my friend Katie is like, Oh, I've got a ticket, do you wanna come with me? And this was back in August, I think she or July, I don't even remember when. And I was like, Oh sure, I'm up for pretty much anything and I thought, Oh, we should get dressed up. Um the theme is sort of more rock and roll theme than it is country. So I guess that rockabilly thing. Um I don't really know. I'm not really into my genres like that. And then I was talking to the ladies at Cross Stitching and I was like, oh, I'm going to a concert. I was going to dress up. I wonder when it is. It's down well this Friday. So here I am on Saturday, Stitching, and anyway, I'm like, well, I haven't got time to go and I haven't got time, I haven't got time to pull together an outfit. I messaged my friend and said, I forgot it was this Friday. I was thinking about dressing up, but I haven't really got time. What were you going to And also I didn't want to like dress up either super glam or super themey or whatever, if she was going straight from work and work out for, because it's Friday evening, and she's like, oh, we could wear something sparkly, or I could just go in work clothes, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Anyway, fast forward, left cross stitching, and on the way home, I stopped in at a friend's who lives halfway between Johnsonville at Upper Hutt, and had arranged to go and have dinner with her, and or get some takeaways, and have a couple of gins and a catch up. And I was just talking to her about, oh, I haven't got bloody time to find an outfit. Nah, nah, nah. Anyway, she's oh, well, you could borrow something. I've got something that might work. And I'm like, my friend wears a lot of pastels, and I don't do pastels. So she does wear a lot of pink and blues and those sort of really soft pastel -y. And she does like a lot of sparkle and sort of soft and floaty things, which is not really my thing. I was like, but she is similarly... Um, generous in proportions, or differently generous in proportions. <laughs> anyway, she went off to the room and she came out with a couple of things. And I'm like, oh, I actually quite like those. Not that I don't like her clothes, but as I know, they would suit me. They're kind of dark, hunter green. Anyway, and I'm like, cool, that's not pastel. Um, and I was like, and she said she'd bought them for a function and hadn't worn them since, sort of thing. Anyway, I, I'm kind of being a little bit vague because if the outfit comes together, I'll take a photo and I'll share that because I'll be like, I don't get dressed up that often. Um, anyway, so I went and had a quick try on and I went, oh, I've totally wear these. I need to sort out some black jeans or something. 
my my jeans are too big for me now um, and they're falling off me and they look like a hobo I'm and they look like I'm a hobo and I found them in the clothing bin behind you know behind a shop where people drop their leftovers um, so I'm kind of excited about that so I just have to yeah find a pair of jeans or uh, I've got to sort out the bottom half I think I know what boots I'm gonna wear and at least it's just like a little bit glammed up than what I would normally wear in a little bit kind of rocker slash so rock and roll slash 60s ish um anyway whatever it'll be fun anyway so that's kind of cool something to look forward to on Friday and uh that's all I can plan for right now should we talk about stitching now that it's 10 minutes I'm gonna have a drink of good old Aussie Bundaberg ginger bear I don't think that came out right uh, so stitching. I, got, I have a couple of little things to show you. First of all, um, it was lovely to see Anne and our stitching thing yesterday. Anne used to do a YouTube channel, briefly did a YouTube, YouTube channel called Fiction and Floss, but she has um, had some other priorities in like a lot of it, like all of us, right, working too hard and, and other focuses so she's sort of put that on hold for a little while but she is, was back from being away in the, for three months and had just given me a cute little needle minder from Caterpillar Cross Stitch and I've already got needles on it um, and it's made to create and it's a lovely I do like enamel needle minders and it's got a good good surface area to capture the needles look at it in action uh, so that was, thank you Anne, it's lovely. And I did purchase a Hands Across the Sea chart off of our local New Zealand Cross Stitch Facebook group, which of course I will change when I stitch it. Um, it's Jane Fittis, it's not a new one, 1835. Um, so yeah, Hands Across the Sea sample, Jane Fittis. I, as always with any Hands Across the Sea, or the majority of Hands Across the Sea, I probably won't stitch it with all the called for silk because I am going to Scotland in 2025 and I need to save my money. So that's new stuff and that's all I've got to show you. I had my bonus start for hashtag stash sample start. So start number nine for me through August and September was Remember Me by Teresa Cogat. I picked, um, oh, I've lost the card. I don't know where I put the card. I have to remember. <laughs> so I started this last Sunday and it is on 36 count weathered by number 12 Stitch Co. They're an Australian shop and I'm using just, at this stage, just the called for DMC. I decided not to. Um, it, it's charted for mostly DMC and two overdies. I just am using the DMC overdies instead of the overdies, and I have pulled out an, a slightly darker shade of the peachy pinky colour that I might use for the little buds down these little buds here. There's little rose buds, flower buds. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, that's where I got to. So that's right along the bottom. The bottom border is well, the bottom edge of the border and that's where I got to and I'm very happy with it. I love it on this linen with it again by number 12 Stitch Co and there's still a little bit a little bit in this flower to do there's um the buds to do here and then there's a big basket here that's mostly yeah good start so that lovely lovely linen to stitch on if you haven't tried the linen it's doesn't smell like anything. I do like a nice smelling linen. This doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like anything. But it's very nice to stitch on. Um, if you are new to 40 count, it's not tight. So it's quite easy to... Uh, sometimes when you stitch on linen, it's easy to split this thread. This is... I haven't split the thread on anything. I haven't had to undo that. So... Oh, I do also have a little bit of stitch in that flower. <laughs> it's empty. Um, so I recommend it if you're new to 40 count. It, however that she dyes it, it's lovely to stitch on. So I stitched on that for maybe three days. I think, I don't really remember. I started on Sunday and I think I did a bit on Monday and then a little bit more during the week. I don't remember when. 
Yeah, I picked up, um, conscious that I'm a little bit behind with some of my monthly goals, but the sort of monthly sales I want to keep up with. So, so I picked up the Carolyn Manning Designs My Grandma's Jewelry Box sale, um, and I had the September brooch to stitch. I'm stitching mine on 32 count antique white linen from Zweigart using mostly the chartered DMC and never the um, chartered metallics and beads. So this month, September, um, is this one. And it had, I use pale blue beads instead of silver beads. I don't have any silver beads in my um, stash. And the metallic was, oh, I wanna say birthday cake, but it's not. I think it's meant to be like a lighter pinker one. Um, I'm not sure what colour it's supposed to be, but I used a, again, a metallic blue number four braid that I had from Chronic. So, it, mine's a more blue than yours will be if you use the called for, but I think it's really cool. Uh, so that is nine brooches done. I'm going to be making them into individual ornaments. I've just spaced them out quite generously on this massive piece of the two count. And yeah, only one more row to go, three more to go, and I'm really happy with them. They're fun little, fun little projects to do, and I'm enjoying just being able to use up some bits and pieces from, you know, leftover projects over the years. And then yesterday, um, Tanya, Tanya's a Kiwi stitcher, a local stitcher from our um, well, New Zealand slash Wellington Facebook groups, and she reminded me that she is also stitching the Cherry Parker's New Zealand Flowers cross stitch ball that I've been stitching in a very loose stitch along with her, although I hadn't seen her for ages, and Jude, who I also haven't seen for ages. I think Jude's a little bit behind, well, not really behind, Jude, she's for, hasn't completed as much as me, she's not behind, there's no race, because she's been focusing on um, a stitching something that is for like date driven, like a birthday or a wedding sampler. I think it's a birth sampler. I don't remember now. It's for, you know, date driven, a date driven event, um, which is fine. Anyway, so, and Tanya was a little bit ahead of me. So she had mentioned she was gonna bring hers along to just discuss some options for assembly. We might try and get together to do some of the assembly. I think it's more than a one hour session. Um, but we had a little chat about that and she's stitching hers on slightly different fabrics, which is kind of cool. So it's gonna look a little bit different. I'm stitching mine on, I think the called for, I can't remember the white. I think I am on antique white, but I, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm on 25 Le Count Lugana using white moss green and ice blue, but I think it's antique white and the called for DMC. And I started mine first of December by doing all the outlines and some of the little fill-in bits, but then I'm sort of stitching a, a section a month. So after today, I have two sections to stitch, October and November, and then I will be ready to start assembling it, which I've got, I, I'm determined to do in December. So this month was the Kakabeek flowers. They're not chilies, but I do jokingly call them the chilies. And, um, yeah, so that that was I started that at the uh, Sitchi gathering yesterday and talked so much that I didn't finish it and I, I should really have been able to finish it during a five hour Sitchi event and I didn't get a third of it done because that's all I did. <laughs> like too busy talking, going to get any lunch, talking. <laughs> um so yeah, that's the the four that I've done today and two more to go. So we've got the large, what have we got? I can't remember, a little, a little, I can't remember, it's a flower and, oh yeah, the Pahutakawa, that one there's the last one. And the other one, I can't remember what it is. Surprise you next time, next month. Um, so essentially I could stitch the next one today because it is now October, but I probably won't but I might not leave it till the last day of the month. So that's my stitching. Um, not bad, not like kind of win any races. It is the first today and a weekend, and I feel like it. 
Um, gonna do a little bit more housework. I should finish the sentence. So I will pick up my Hannah, Hannah? I can't remember what she's called, the New Zealand themed Hands Across the Sea. So I'll give her a bit of love this afternoon and then who knows? I can't remember what my focus is for this month. I might be, I might be picking up my hate, um, which I've forgotten what that's called as well. I know it's number one. Oh my gosh, I'm having a, I'm having a mare, aren't I? <laughs> I don't remember what anything's called. It's menopause. Oh yeah, and for anyone, I was. <laughs> One thing about going along to a Sitchi group is, you know, to be fair, there's a few of us in a similar peer group, and it is not, it is nice sometimes to uh, remind remind yourself that you're not alone with some of the bloody menopause stuff that's going on. Um, not that I wish, like I'm under a lot of, I'm under control. I don't think I am. <laughs> My symptoms are quite under control being on HRT, but. I already had a terrible memory for names and now, and I'm like, I'm going into meetings going, hi, I don't know if I've met you before. I apologize if I have because I kind of go, I think I might've met them, but I don't remember. And they're like, oh yeah, you have. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Cause it's weird to say nice to meet you. It's, all, it's just better just to be honest and say I've got a menopause brain. I don't actually say that, but. More like I'm just being unwell and on drugs. I don't say that either. I don't know. I can't remember any things. Anything's called. What do you think it's called? Oh, far out. Other than that, <laughs> I'm doing fine. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to have my ginger beer. And then I'm going to edit this bloody video and get it up and then get what's her face out to give her some love um i'll start stitching on the bits that i'm not changing so i think that's like the snail the giant snail anyway i'm gonna go thanks for coming along um like subscribe leave me a comment if it's a nice comment if you don't want to leave me a nice comment don't leave me a comment um and don't forget down in the doobly doo contact details um information about the whips and starts the projects I've shown you today and um, that's probably all I've got to say I will be back at this stage anyway I plan to be back next week as per usual and um, I look forward to it and until then don't let your needles rust Ciao.